Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 3 that is Cutting Tool Materials and Machining Induced Surface Integrity. So in this video we will discuss about properties of cutting tool materials. <music> These are the desired properties of the cutting tool materials. So first we will start with the hardness uh, that is material uh, use, which is used for cutting tool. So it should be around uh, 1.5 times harder than the work material. So whatever work material which you are using, so the cutting tool should be 1.5 times more harder than the uh, work material. So next you are capable of maintaining a red hardness during the machining operation. Uh, that is ability of the cutting tool to maintain sharp cutting edge even at the higher temperature so at higher temperature it should retain the hardness uh, so usually it is also called as a hot hardness or also called as a hot strength so these are uh, some other names which is used uh, along with the red hardness so next it should be having a shock resistance that is its ability to take uh, uh, loads and forces so that is uh, sudden loads and forces which is coming on to the cutting tool it should take that is what resistance shock resistance is next shape and configuration so it must be available uh, for use in different sizes and shapes so that you can change it to, depending upon the cutting operation so you can configure the cutting so next wear resistance uh, that is able to maintain sharp sharpened cutting edge uh, throughout the cutting operation that is same this is same as a abrasive resistance so it should not wear off easily so it should have a abrasive resistance uh, next high temperature physical and chemical stability so that is uh, it sh even at higher temperature it should not chemically react or uh, it should not lose its shape that is what physical and chemical stability means in resistance to brittle fracture so it should not uh, fail in a brittle manner so that is what resistance to brittle fra fracture so all these uh, properties will not be in a one single material. For example, if I take uh, example of these three, that is wear resistance, high temperature and chemical stability will not come together in a one single materials. Uh, for example, uh, so here you can see in this slide, uh, it is very clear. So I'll just uh, change the color. Okay. Uh, if the material is having high temperature, tem temperature stability, so and uh, I uh, wear resistance, but it is not having a resistance to brittle fracture. So that is, for example, titanium carbide is having high temperature stability and abrasive resistance, but it is having very low resistance to brittle fracture. And if you take HSS, it is having high resistance to brittle fracture, but it is not having high temperature stability or high wear resistance. Similarly, you have uh, some materials in between these two. It's a compromise of other, all these properties. So the here this list also shows this uh, as the carbon steel uh, is having a uh, low art hardness and as it increases this goes up to single crystal diamond where high art is uh, high value so, so it is having a hot hardness but it is having a very low toughness value low toughness so you can see here the, for the carbon steel it is having a high toughness but it is having low art hardness. So like this, the uh, list is uh, varying from 1 to 9. So where the it is compromised between the toughness and the hot hardness. So depending upon the operation which you are you doing, so you need to select particular uh, work material which is having certain properties. There are many factors which influence the performance of cutting tools. Uh, these are like uh, relative hardness, that is relative hardness between the cutting tool and the work material. Uh, next we have uh, abrasive particles such as scale on the surface of the workpiece. So these abrasive particles also influence the cutting process. Uh, next we have uh, chemical compatibility between the work material and the cutting tool. Chemical compatibility. Chemical compatibility. Uh, and then we have a uh, cutting temperatures. Uh, so at which the cutting is happening. And then conditions of the machine tool. Uh, how rigid it is so these are all the other, several other uh, factors which influence the cutting process so this was about uh, properties of cutting tool material 